Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be insulating the blown air uh, central heating ducting pipes which actually run under the outside underneath of the caravan. So stay tuned. Well, if your caravan is anything like ours, it has the blown air Truma heating and it uh, is a very good product. It really does work, but it does lack in the bedroom and the bathroom area. And Julia and myself have complained when we went away in November that it doesn't quite reach the other end of the van. Now, I spoke to uh, the dealers and they explained that perhaps if you put the boiler and the heating system on half electric and half gas for a period of time it'll warm the pipes up and it'll keep it warm so we tried that and it works to a certain degree but it doesn't retain the heat so what we decided to do was insulate the ducting of our caravan now most caravans um, the ducting is inside the van itself but there's a section underneath our van which goes from the bedroom area to the bathroom which is exposed and is secure underneath the van. So that's the part we're going to be insulating today. So let's have a look at what we need to do the job that we're going to do today. So today we're going to be using a thermal wrap spiral uh, pipe insulation. Now we're going to use three to do the uh, job on ours, but uh, I would uh, check the length of it and measure your pipe prior to doing this, so you know how many you need. They're about £4.50 a piece. And secondly on the list is some aluminium tape, which we're going to use to secure the thermal wrap with. And just to make doubly sure that it all stays secure, I've also got some cable ties which I'm going to periodically uh, fit to the piping system. And the only tool we'll need today is going to be a pair of scissors. Okay, as you can see there, hopefully, struggling to focus there. That's the pipe that we're looking at. And it runs underneath the van, like so along and it continues all the way to the bathroom there okay so taking a Phillips screwdriver we're going to undo the two retaining screws on either side of here so I'm going to have to put my glasses on so I can see Okay, so that took a little bit of fiddling. Uh, there's actually four screws all together on this particular one. They're not held by a separate bracket, but there are two individual ones. So four screws off and we can now move these around a little bit more, which will give us a bit more play when we start to insulate the pipes. Okay, so we've undone those now and we're now going to undo the retaining clips underneath. So I've got two little screwdrivers to help me with this because it's a little bit fiddly. Okay, so we've undone the three retaining clips all together. Uh, the next thing, we're going to take our wrap insulation and we're going to wrap them uh, as neat and as tidy as we possibly can. So let's go and get this stuff now.
So that's our little film for today. Uh, just insulation our pipes um, for the ducting. Uh, now there are other products on the market. I know Truma do a, a kit that you can buy. But I'll be honest, it's really expensive. And that put me off straight away. You also can use uh, this item, which is foam pipe insulation. But as you can see with that one, it's too narrow. The pipes on ours are 65 mil, and that's only about 30 mil. And they won't stretch over. Uh, I did try. So you can buy it wider, but because I was running out of time in order to make this video, and I know the weather's going to change soon, I uh, opted for the uh, thermal wrap. And I'll report back in another video as to how uh, well it's done and does it make a difference? Because that is a question. Some people say it does, some people say it don't. So we'll have to wait and see. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you pop by soon and check out some of our other videos. But in the meantime, see you later. Bye bye.